Hello all, there is a new G-code generation feature added to the SBC CNC software. With this feature, you can generate G-code for any 2D or 3D arbitrary shapes and as well as you can generate G-code for grayscale images for 3D relief carving. In this video, I will show you how easy it is to generate G-code from SBC CNC software. For 2D and 3D shapes, I will draw the shapes as per my requirement. Here I, I can draw an ellipse. I can also draw an arbitrary shape as per my choice. Either I can draw the shape manually clicking the mouse clicks or I can also load a background image to guide me to select the right points of my shape. So here I can remove these points which I have already added and I can start adding new points. I can use the background image as my guide. I am drawing just few points because this video is only for demonstrating how to generate G-code. I will not go into adding the completing the complete shape here. So once you add the shapes, make sure that your settings is as per the requirement. So in my case, my Z step is 1 mm. That means for every pass, my Z axis will move 1, 1 mm down. And the end mill dia which I am using to cut these shapes is 6 mm. When you are using G code, make sure that your circle, whatever the G code is going to generate, your circle dimensions or the vertices of this circle is based on the end mill dia which you have selected. So in this case, our circle or the ellipse what we have drawn here is having a radius of around 12.5 uh, or a dia of 25 mm. And this is based on the vertices are generated based on the end mill what you have selected here. So when you do when you use this G code on any other machine or maybe even in the SBC CNC software in the G code option, you ha you have to make sure that you use the same six six mm end mill dia. Otherwise, the shapes what you are going to cut may not be of the right dimensions. So once you add these shapes, make sure all your settings are proper. Then you just click on generate G code and you can give any name. I'm saving this file on my Raspberry Pi desktop and that's it. You have, you can see here the G code file is generated. Now when you want to cut that, when you want to use the G code file for uh, the shapes, what you have drawn to be cut or to be carved, you just go here. You have to select the G code file what you have saved and the G code file will be loaded. So the question is when we can do this shape cutting here in the SBC CNC software uh, itself, why we need to save the G code. The purpose of this option is to enable you to generate G code for arbitrary shapes which can be run on different machines. This will also help you to create new projects and sometimes there could be a possibility that you might be using some other software with some other machine where you you want to use the G codes what you have uh, you want to use the G code what you have generated by SBC CNC software or you want to run the project what you have uh, developed with the SBC CNC software. So in those cases this particular option will be quite useful. If you are using the SBC CNC software to run your machine you don't need to generate the G code you can directly click the start button and you can finish your project. Similarly you can do the same thing for relief carving you can load the image which you want to carve. Make sure that you set all the settings as per your requirement. What is your jet pass? What is the length of your project? What is the width of your project? And also make sure that the Anmilla which you are going to use while you are generating this G code will be the same when you are running the actual G code on a different machine or even on the SBC CNC software. So once you do all the necessary settings, 
just click on generate G code and you can give one more any any you can give any file name and you can save the G code so this may take certain time because it will be creating multiple lines based on what is your X step and Y step and how many passes of jets you jet do you have and also what is the length and width of the project but yeah we have generated our G code file and again you can load the G code file so the file is getting loaded well the file size appears to be too big it's taking a while to load specifically for SBCC and C software all the points are loaded at the start itself so we don't buffer any G code lines in the memory so all the lines have been loaded we are talking about a something around 0.5 million lines of G code has been generated for that particular 3d relief carving which we have seen here so you can use this G code file on any other mission where you are not running SBC CNC software as I said earlier if you are using the SBC CNC software you don't have to generate the G code you can directly run this 3d relief carving from the 3d relief carving option here you have to just click the start button and the machine will do the exactly the same whether you run it from the using the G code option or you run it directly from here thank you all see you again